everyone, it's Azith K out here in my next painting video and today I'll be painting another Tasmanian landscape and today I'll be painting a view of the King River flowing through the eastern highlands of Tasmania near Queenstown. And today I'll also be trialling some new techniques such as painting oils over and clicks, especially for the highlights. Okay, so this is the image I'll be painting today. And here's a list of the equipment which I'll be using today. I'll provide a full list down in the description below. And let's get straight into it. Okay, so I begin the painting in acrylics with a mixture of primary blue and acrylic white for the sky. And for the distant mountains, I'm using a mixture of primary blue, cadmium miller and a bit of pearl red toned down with a lot of acrylic white. And as I come into the foreground, towards the foreground, I'm using more primary blue and pearl red for the shadows and more cadmium yellow for the highlights. And getting even closer, I'm using more primary blue and even more pearl red for the shadows. And I'm using more acrylic white and cadmium yellow for the highlights. This is to show depth and distance within the painting. And then I, as I come even closer towards the foreground, I'm using more, even more primary blue for the shadows and adding stronger highlights using nearly just cadmium yellow and acrylic white. And for the very closest trees, I'm using a near black mixture from primary blue, pearl red and very little cadmium yellow for the shadows and very strong highlights using cadmium yellow and acrylic white in the trees and then as I put in the grass I'm using cadmium yellow a bit of primary blue and acrylic white and for the river I'm using a brownish mixture mixed from pearl red primary blue a bit of cadmium yellow and then I'm adding some highlights on top of that and then as I finish working in acrylics, I'm adding the finishing touches for acrylics. And then I begin working in oils, adding stronger highlights to the trees, more vibrant colours to help create more depth and distance within the painting. So there's more vibrant highlights in the foreground and very pale colours in the background towards the distant mountains. And then I begin adding a glaze of just oil on the river to help with the reflections and to help it shine and to help it give off a glow in a sense. And then I just add some finishing touches with the oil to the grass and the trees and then it's done. Okay so that brings us to the end of this video and I hope you all really enjoyed it. Now the name of this painting is A Quiet Highland Paradise. And into the coming weeks, I'll be giving you some insight on how I paint oils over acrylics and why it's a good idea, good idea to get started on that. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to continue watching my channel content and I hope to see some of you in my next videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.